Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EtherAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our automating Flutter app with Flutter Driver course. And in this video, I'll be talking about behavioral driven development with Flutter Driver using Flutter Gherkin. All right, so let's get started. Flutter Gherkin, a fully featured Gherkin parser and test runner works with Flutter and Dart 2. That's really, really awesome. So the Flutter itself is pretty new and Flutter has a Gherkin parser and a test runner all together mixed up in one single package, which is nothing but the Flutter Gherkin. So this is really cool to see that someone has written the BDD style fashion support within the Flutter and the Dart as well. And this implementation of Gherkin tries to follow as closely as possible other implementations of Gherkin and specifically the Cucumber in its various form. Because Cucumber, as you know, is available in many different languages like Java, C Sharp, TypeScript, and JavaScript and things of that nature, that's exactly the same principles being used even in the Flutter Gherkins. And the author has made sure that the code actually works pretty much close to the implementations of any other PDD style fashion that you have ever used before. So I'm not going to be deep diving into the actual concepts of BDD and what is BDD and all of the stuff. We have already discussed about that a lot in both C Sharp as well as in Java. And there are many other courses that I have, I have already discussed about that. So we're not going to be discussing about that, but Frederick Gherkin specifically, that's what we'll be discussing in this particular video. So before using the Flutter Gherkin itself, it has got so many rules to be followed before actually consuming and using it within your project. The reason is because of the principles of Flutter not allowing reflections. So basically in Cucumber, in both SpecFlow, or uh, in the Cucumber of Java, you can see that heavily reflections concept is being used in order to emit the name of the step definition or the different hooks and stuffs. So basically we use as the runner like test ng runner or in specflow we use n unit runner or ms test runner uh, with a specflow combination. But in here with the flutter driver, the reflection itself is completely not allowed and that's not the principle of flutter being using that. And the downside of not having the reflection is that we have to be slightly more explicit by providing the instances of custom code such as step definition, hook, reporters, and even the custom parameter within our code. That's really, really hard. So what does that really means is we need to create a separate class file for each and every steps in the feature that we write. This is really insane because if you have a feature with like 10 step definition or maybe 30 step definition, that's I'm talking about one feature file with one scenario, you need to create 10 separate dart file for each and every step definition. So if you have like 100 step definition within your 10 features or 10 scenarios, you need to write 100 separate class files, seriously. And then calling the class file as a config to be called in the Gherkin runner. So basically in order to invoke the class files that you have created like a step definition or the hooks or the reporters or the custom parameters, you need to be calling them within a configuration of the Gherkin runner. That's going to be really complex. You don't really understand what now, but I'll quickly show you how it's going to look like. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to my Chrome browser. All right. So now I'm just going to search for what is called as the Flutter Gherkin. So let's search for Flutter uh, Gherkin. And you can see that we'll end up over here for the Flutter Gherkin. Uh, so there is a pub.dotlang uh, package. So if I go there, uh, you can see that it comes in here. So it's published like June 20, 2019, uh, which is pretty recent, very, very new. Uh, the package is kind of updated by the author most of the time. And you can see that this is the Flutter Gherkin, which we were talking about. So if you see, if you're going to run this particular Cucumber scenarios from the feature file, like this, for each and every step definitions or the steps within the feature, you need to be creating a class file, something like this, which is crazy. And then you need to write this runner, which is nothing but the Gherkin runner, and call all the steps over here to be executed. And now you can just relate with the Cucumber Java or Cucumber C Sharp 
you have never did any one of this. You just consume the step definition within your class files of Java or C Sharp, and then you directly use that. But in our case, a Flutter driver with a Flutter combination with a Flutter Kirkin, you do really have to be more verbose in terms of writing your own step definition, writing your own regular expressions, and write your own way of calling that particular uh, step definition file. You're going to make sure, basically, for the particular step definition to be called within this runner. And only then the step will get executed. If not, the code is not going to basically work. And those are the things that makes the consumption of the Flutter Kirkin a little bit harder or maybe much harder for a new guys. Uh, and even it took a lot of time for me to consume the concept because it doesn't really make a lot of sense in the first instant. And that's exactly what we should be doing for using this particular Flutter Kirkin. And again, this Flutter Kirkin is uh, the reason why the, the author has written this way makes much sense because you can see that it has the uh, tag expression, hooks, order, uh, and screenshots, and reporters, uh, and everything that you can expect within a BDD style Cucumber tools or any other tools that you have seen in the market. But because reflection is the principle of Flutter not to be used, that's the reason the developer had a hard time of not using that and that made this thing little much complexer uh, than any other automation testing tool with Cucumber supported. So we'll be discussing how to work with creating the step definitions and even the runners in our next video and we'll see how things work. Thank you.